give everybody a minute to get in. Good morning, and thank you all for joining us here. I'm joined today by our Attorney General, Secretaries Perfuri and Hager, members of the legislature, local leaders, and law enforcement. I wish I could say that we were here this morning under pleasant circumstances, but that's simply not the case. When I ran for this office, I promised our Kansans that I was going to make us safer and stronger. Arkansas has had a crime problem made worse by an unwillingness to make necessary changes. We had weak penalties for violent criminals and overcapacity issues in our state prisons. We currently have over 16,000 available beds, but over 18,000 criminals that need to be incarcerated. For far too long, many in positions of leadership have chosen to ignore the issue and kick the can down the road. Unfortunately, some in those positions of leadership are still playing games that put Arkansans in harm's way. As governor, my top priority is the safety and security of our citizens. I will not sit by while we enact the same broken policies that got us here in the first place because no one ever called those in leadership out. Not anymore, not on my watch. Last week, the Arkansas State Board of Corrections refused to approve Secretary Perfuri's thoughtful, informed, and desperately needed request to open up hundreds of additional prison beds. This is simply unacceptable. For far too long, there has been a revolving door in our state's prison system. Criminals commit crimes, get sentenced by the court system, and then, because of a shortage of bed space, are let back out on the street streets with just a slap on the wrist. We must enforce the law and quit putting our citizens' lives at risk. I've said it before and I'm saying it again. The failed status quo will not continue as long as I'm governor. That's why the legislature passed and I signed the PROTECT Act, cracking down on repeat offenders. It's why I asked for and the legislature agreed that we will build a new 3,000-bed prison, the first major investment in prison expansion in nearly two decades. It's why Secretary Perfuri has worked overtime to open up 1,000 new prison beds in our existing space, reducing pressure on county jails and local law enforcement. But now, the Board of Corrections is declining to approve almost 500 additional beds for no reason whatsoever. In fact, the Board has been against the PROTECT Act from the beginning, and it puts our Kansans' lives at risk. We have the space. We have the resources, we have the personnel. All that stands between us and a safer, stronger Arkansas is bureaucratic red tape. It's time for the Board of Corrections to do what is needed to protect our people, which is why I'm calling on the Board to convene an emergency meeting without delay to approve the 500 additional beds that they denied last week. It is time to act. The Board knows it, the people standing here with me know it, and most importantly, the people of Arkansas need it. I'm now going to turn it over to the Attorney General and a few others to make remarks, and then I'll come back up and we'll be happy to take questions at that time. Thank you. Tim. Thank you, Governor. This is not a new problem. This is a problem that has existed for decades. What's new, the bold actions of, of the legislature and the governor to fix it. We had a robust debate, lots of discussion for a long, long time about the PROTECT Act. But ultimately it passed, I think it was 82% in the House and 83% in the Senate. But whether you were for the PROTECT Act or not, no one can reasonably argue that they weren't for expanding prisons, even though they weren't doing anything about it. What do I mean? Well, for years, the prisons were quietly expanded through the county jails. So what happened was everybody know, knew we needed more space. But instead of having the open public debate about building more prison beds, quietly filled up all of our county jails, threw away the misdemeanor part of the criminal code, and were able to smugly act as if they weren't expanding prisons. And there were people in both parties doing that. And the people who were most adamant 
about fighting the PROTECT Act, they never said a word when the county jails were filled, ever. So let's be clear. There's no one that is, that is able to intelligently, with a straight face, argue that we don't need more prison capacity. Which brought us to the PROTECT Act. In the solution that the legislature and the governor worked on, and I was proud to be a part of that effort with a lot of other people. We, this is a revolutionary piece of legislation. It passed the House, supermajority, passed the Senate, supermajority, signed into law. And now we're relitigating this. I understand what the statute says. I understand the role of the board. I also understand that the board could approve this. But the governor referred to this. The chairman of the Board of Corrections testified against the PROTECT Act. That's ridiculous. If he didn't understand the need for it, he shouldn't be in that job, in my view. I'm not speaking for the governor on that. This is so so basic. And I've heard things like, well, until you get a plan for 3,000 beds, we're not going to give you 500. That's like saying well, we would rather 500 murderers roam the streets until we get a perfect plan for 3,000. That also makes no sense. Let me be real clear. The actions of the Board of Corrections make our Kansans in this room and all around the state less safe. The Board of Corrections in Arkansas, a government body makes all of us less safe. Let me read from their website what their purpose is. The purpose, quote, the purpose of the Board of Correction is to manage correctional resources in the state such that offenders are held accountable for their actions. Failure. Victims' needs are addressed in a positive manner. Failure and the safety of society is enhanced. Failure. They failed. They need to expand this. And let me say as an aside, if you were to ask little Susie, little Jimmy, whatever their names are, at school, what's the, what, how does something become law? They say, well, the legislature passes it, maybe even passes it by a supermajority. The governor signs it. The teacher would have to say, well, that's normally the case. But in Arkansas, if it's Department of Corrections, after the governor signs it, Benny Magnus, who's been over there for decades, he has to sign it. That is a horrible way to run state government. If that is, in fact, the case, which it appears to be, this is a clarion call for constitutional and statutory reform on this issue. Expand the beds, Mr. Chairman, so that we can all be safer. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Attorney General. <clears throat> I want to be clear and, and ensure we make no mistake. This is a public safety issue. The Department of Corrections stands as a sentinel in the criminal justice system. To have an effective system, all parts of that system must work as a whole. The inability for the Department of Corrections to take prisoners from county jails, from that upstream affect of arrest and incarceration at the, ju at the county level, pending incarceration after conviction, creates scenarios where people who need to be in prison roam free. <clears throat> it is my job as a secretary of the Arkansas Department of Corrections to create opportunity and create space and to run safe prisons. Any beds that I have added, any beds that I will add or request to add, will not create any unsafe prisons. I will not deviate from the mission of safe prisons. Our prisons are accredited nationally, every single one of them, by the American Correctional Association. We maintain requirements associated with square footage and treatment of those offenders that are housed in our custody. But to stand in the way to add additional beds when we can create public safety opportunities and individuals who are arrested by law enforcement can be de de retained in jail systems 
is my responsibility. Adding additional beds and approving this request will provide that opportunity for police and sheriffs, and I am here to stand before you and ensure that we do that. Thank you so much for your support. Let me begin by saying thank you to the governor for her support during this past legislative session of the Protect Arkansas Act uh, and also the Attorney General and my co-sponsor in the Senate, Senator Gilmore. Uh, the Protect Arkansas Act, as many of you know, was historic criminal justice reform legislation that will truly make Arkansas a safer place for generations to come. And I want to say this about the Protect Arkansas Act. The primary purpose of the Protect Arkansas Act was to fix our broken parole system and to close the revolving door in our prisons. And the way that you close the revolving door in the prisons is that you have to expand capacity. And we talked about this uh, many times during the debate of the Protect Arkansas Act. Secretary Perfiri has come up with a plan to expand capacity of approximately 500 beds that is desperately needed and that will desperately uh, improve the condition of public safety in the state of Arkansas. And so on behalf of my colleagues in the House of Representatives and in the Senate, we want to strongly encourage the Board of Corrections to work with Secretary Perfiri to expand capacity and improve public safety for all Arkansans. Thank you. Be happy to take a couple questions if there are any. We're working through that process. As you can imagine, building a 3,000 bed prison is going to take time, uh, especially with the government and following all the procedures that come along with that, which is why this temporary space is so desperately needed. Because while we wait and go through the process to get that new prison up and running, we need this space so that we can keep those violent offenders off the streets. I think it's pretty clear what we're trying to do is we're trying to get them to allow us to keep people safe. It's very simple. Uh, we know that we have people that should be locked up and they're not helping in that process. We've been very clear. I've been talking about, as has the Attorney General, uh, Representative Gasway, Senator Gilmore, about the need for additional bed space for the last couple of years. This is not a new topic. Uh, we've gone before them and tried to follow that process. They're simply standing in the way of us protecting Arkansas citizens, and that is unacceptable. All right, thank you guys so much. Appreciate it.